You never know from the East Coast that we don't get this on the West Coast. This little piece of Americana is Yingling Brothers, 1829. Let's see what happens. Well, everybody, welcome back. It's the Beer's Gone Bad. It's where the beer flows like wine. Let's get into it. Boom. Guys, we are here. We're drinking this little tiny piece of Americana. Yeah, that's right. Pat, where'd we get this? Mm, Scott. No big deal. Just went to the East Coast to get it and then brought it back. Actually, when I was trying to bring it back, mm -hmm. I had it in my suitcase. My suitcase was 47 pounds overweight. <laughs> <laughs> And then she's all, what's in there? And I was like, I, oh, hold on. And I popped it open, took out all the beer, handed it to my mom. And I was like, Mom, you're just going to have to ship it. Closed it, put it back on. Totally fine. Totally fine. 47 pounds. Jeez. It was like 20-something beers. I'm going to break into a book we haven't used in a while. The Ultimate Encyclopedia of Wine, Beer, Spirits, and Liqueurs. I'm not wearing shoes. I should probably keep my feet. All right. This one, Yingling, the oldest brewery still operating in the United States, was founded in 1829 in Pottsville, Pennsylvania says where deep cellars were dug into the hillside to keep the beer cool during maturation. This is the largest American brewery, American-owned brewery. And if you look at the label, it's pretty, it's pretty damn American. It's a bald eagle, uh, one of its talons grasping a rock firmly, and then the other one wrapping its talon around a barrel of beer, what I'm going to assume is a barrel of beer. It says YNS for Yingling and Son. There it is. Done, dude. God, bald eagle's so rad. That's cool. What do you say we get into this? Yeah, let's do it. Do it. We talked about this thing for a while now. We uh, every East Coast person we talk to, oh, you guys gotta try Yingling, gotta try Yingling. But us California kids don't. I, I didn't even know what Yingling was. To be honest with you. Yeah, I, I was told it's like a uh, it's like a little darker Budweiser. Yeah. In a green bottle. Dude, I feel pretty American just holding this beer. Looks cool. It through the green bottle. It's kind of hard to see what the color looks like. It looks I, it looks brown from the bottle, but who knows what that means. That is a traditional lager. If we're putting this up against this, the Budweiser's and the Coors Light, this actually has a way better taste. Yeah, there's more more going on. Whoa, like a way better taste. You know what it's kind of like? Amazing. I think I want to like this beer a lot, and that's why I like it so much. And it kind of does remind me of Budweiser, but almost like if Budweiser and Rolling Rock had a really good-looking child. <laughs> that's what it would be. Look, you got a green bottle like Rolling Rock. You got a you got an eagle like Budweiser. You marry the flavors, put it together, it's a handsome, it's a handsome You are a handsome beer, my yeah, friend. it's a handsome beer. I didn't really know what to expect from this thing because so many people talk about this and all the East Coast people love it. It's not like they like crave it, but it's like, oh, you know, when you go to a bar, you ask for a lager, that's what they get. Yep. Not bad. I'm kind of bummed we don't have it here. When I was, when I was in uh, Savannah and I was super stoked to see it on the tap, I was like, oh, no way, yingling, 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 and the bartender's like, dude, yeah, it's just a just your ordinary lager and he was super stoked on all the other craft beers he had and I was like can I try the yingling though and he's like are, are you serious and I was like oh I'm from California I'm sorry we don't have it out there and people don't know that we don't have it out here they thought I was like really you don't have yingling it's like it's everywhere it's like it's like Budweiser it's like Coors they had it on uh, the History Channel and Modern Marvels they had a show about brewing <coughs> you know just beer in general yeah. and they showed yingling and at their facility at their place in Pennsylvania they actually have the old caverns. I think they still store beer in there, but they carved out inside the like side of a mountain, and they took all their stuff and they stored it like deep storage inside of the mountain so to keep the cool, you know, the temperature down as it kind of fermented. Before we had refrigerators. Oh, they totally worked out because like inside the mountain, it holds you know holds a temperature like similar to the mini fridge. It's badass. The mini fridge. Mini fridge is badass, by the way. Yingling. Booyah. 1829, you gotta give it to him. Do you know when Budweiser was started? Nope. I like this thing. I think this is really good. I'm really bummed we don't have it here. What are you gonna rate it? 
I mean, it is Breaking it is. scale, one is horrible, ten is awesome. It's hard to say because I think I've hyped this one up so much in my head that I'm going to give it, you know, I'm going to give it a five because it's not amazing, but it's definitely better than a Budweiser. And I like the fact that they're American-owned and run. 5.5. Yeah, I mean, you guys did an awesome job. You've been around for, you know, close to 200 years right now. That's pretty freaking impressive. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. <coughs> you know son? Keep on trucking. Keep on keep Supported on. by the West Coast guys of the Beers Come Bad. Three glasses. Well, cheers to you. Cheers. For the Beers Gone Bad, a craft beer experiment for time with two guys interested in uh, beer and other fun things. Focus on time and space. <laughs> I was just letting that with water. I was, yeah, I was going to get all Carl Sagan on it, like the Cosmos. I'm Patrick Tugin. I'm Scott Van Until next time, we'll see you then. Anyway, what the hell?